<laughs> Thank you, Alicia, for joining us. And we can go first to Dorothy Gentry. Hi, Alicia, congratulations from Dallas. Um, what would you say to your sister and other young women and young girls about what's possible for their dreams? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing I just tell them just to follow it. I mean, I come from a very small town out of Sandsville, Georgia. Uh, basically, everybody know everybody. So, I mean, I just hope I can be an inspiration for all the, the young girls and boys back home that just follow your dreams and you can also make it out and make it to the big Olympic stage like I have. And we'll go next to Brad Muller. Hey, Alicia, congratulations. Uh, what did it mean? What were you thinking about when you were standing on the on the podium uh, you know, when you when you after the win? And how does it compare to winning a national championship? Uh, I mean, winning the gold medal is, I mean, granted, don't get me wrong. I appreciate my national championship. But winning the gold medal, that's just on a, a different level of accomplishments and happiness because it's just something that everybody gets to do and it's something that everybody gets has especially gold medal so I mean I mean it's just been a fun experience and I've enjoyed all of it. Scott Mimosa. Hello Alicia can you talk a little bit about if it meant anything to you that you guys were the lowest seeded team coming into this competition and then ended up winning the gold medal? I mean no I mean we didn't we don't play three, three year round like other countries do. So, I mean, you really don't pay attention to the ranks of scenes. Cause I mean, you should know that from like March Madness, like people get upset all the time. So, I mean, I really ain't pay attention to it. I actually didn't know that we were the A seed until I seen like the, the papers on the side of the tunnel. I seen like an eight by our name, but other than that, I really didn't know. Thank you. Mr. Bopo. Uh, yeah, congrats, Alicia. Um, I wondered, um, will you stay there and, and watch the five on five, especially with, I you know your best friend uh, Asia's playing and Dawn, or do you, do you come home and watch it? Um, and also, what do you think you take back to, to the Dallas Wings having having this experience? Uh, I think I take a lot back to the Dallas Wings. I think uh, I got to display myself as a player and I got to show them what type of player I am. I mean, they know what type of player I am, but it's just like, you can just sit back and kind of watch and see me in a in a different light of, of what I'm able to bring to the table as a player. I mean, I, I feel like I did it all. I rebound, block shots, score points, like got steals. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm just an all around player. So I'm just gonna continue carrying that momentum onto the, the WNBA season. And do, will you stay there and watch five on five or do, or do you know yet? Oh, uh, no, we go home. You on go home? The 30th, yeah. We, okay, we, thank you. Ronald Wallace. Alicia, Ron Wallace, born down south here in Alabama. Congratulations. You guys did it. Uh, I'm so proud of you guys because I've watched every game y'all play uh, at the Olympics. Uh, tell me. Right off the bat, I saw you on the first play of the game. You going straight into the paint, driving. What was going through your mind? What was the, the game set right off the bat for the team? Uh, just be aggressive. You always want to punch the opponents in the mouth first, and you always want to be the the tone setters of the game. So, I mean, the biggest thing was just continue being aggressive and and putting the game to our pace, so we we're able to control the game uh, throughout the throughout the time. Mike Solarte. Sorry about the delay. Congratulations. Can you kind of encapsulate what it was like playing for uh, Coach Lawson and, and how she was able to kind of guide this team into this uh, into this new journey for uh, USA basketball? I mean, Coach Lawson is great. I mean, we all came into 3 3 We didn't like know nothing about it. So the way that she was able to teach us and help us adapt to the 3 3 game, was great. I mean, she taught us play, she taught us techniques, she taught us like the style of the game. And like, she did like many things to, to help us be able to adapt to the 3S3 games. I mean, she, as a coach, I mean, she's a winner in the 3S3 style. So I just applaud her for being able to help us adapt. It probably wasn't easy, but hey, we got the job done. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Steve Goldberg. Hi again, congratulations. And following up on Mike's question about the newness to the three on three game, which has its own unique characteristics. Did you learn anything from these other teams that have played together on a regular basis on the FIBA tour uh, with that? It's like, especially the French who are highly ranked on, did you pull anything that helped evolve your game? Uh, I mean, if anything, just me locking in, knowing that uh, almost everything is like ISO. So, I mean, you just got to lock in, play defense. And even on the offensive end, I feel like 3 is 3 has helped me become a better uh, ISO player and, and then me create my shot. Because I feel like a game of 3 is 3, if you can't create your shot, it's, it's, it's probably a struggle a little bit. But I just feel like from from – the bigger picture, 3 h 3 has helped my game tremendously. And was there anything y'all learned from other teams that you incorporated into your game? Uh, I mean, we really didn't get to see these teams until we was playing in the Olympic qualifying tournament in the, the Olympics. So, I mean, for us, I mean, we just stayed true to our game and how we played, and we just brought that to the court. We'll Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Just two more questions. We'll go to B Terrell first and then we'll wrap up with Brad Muller. Hey Leash, how you doing? Hey B Terrell. <laughs> you know what? Now I'm gonna refer to you as the name that you want to be called. Gold medal leash. Thank how are you. you today? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> doing well, doing well. All right. So now obviously we saw that, you know, you got some new kicks when you were there on the podium. So with this swag bag that y'all get that they gave you all for the Olympics, what's been your favorite thing in that entire bag? Who I'm gonna be real with you. I ain't even been able to go through all that stuff. It's so much stuff. I think I'm gonna just when I get home and I'm able to sort it out, I'll post a little song on Instagram for you so you can see. Cause right now. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap it to you. I ain't been able to see all that stuff yet. <laughs> all right, we'll be on the lookout for that. Then appreciate it. Okay, no problem. And congrats again. Thank you. Last question from Brad Muller. Hey again, I was just curious. When you get home, what are you gonna do with your gold medal? Uh, keep it around my neck. <laughs> I'm wearing this gold medal everywhere. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Alicia. We appreciate everybody joining us. And with the delay, uh, video re recordings will be available at USA Basketball's Media Central site. Thank you very much.